All right, we are on day 92 of my case study, testing out the My Legion secret system. I'm Mike Geyser, and do me a favor if you're newer here, if you like to follow along someone's journey, testing out a system, seeing how well it works, if following case studies is something interesting to you, do give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so you're notified of future videos as they're released. But that's basically what I'm doing, and uh, today I'm gonna be going over the results for the entire month of February, comparing that with January, seeing where we're at, have things changed? Have I made money? Uh, what is uh, the progression looking like? Like, is this gonna keep going up, the money that I'm making? I'm gonna go over all that very soon, but before I do that, I wanna bring everyone up to speed. So for the newer people, what we're doing is we're testing out this system right on the screen here, My Legion Secret. And this is a system that is drip feeding me 100 leads each day. And these leads are in the make money online niche. They're looking to make money online. So we're going to clickbank.com, which is an affiliate marketplace. We're finding products there in that niche and promoting that to these leads that are building up inside of my lead gen secret. And we're getting 3000 leads at the end of the month, which becomes 6,000 and 9,000 as the months go on. So these leads are building up and there's an inbuilt mailer in this system which lets us mail out once every 23 hours, basically once a day, to all the leads. So what we're doing is we're going to ClickBank, we're grabbing these email swipe files provided to us for free by the vendors of the products we're promoting, and there are 10 emails there to choose from, right? We're going from one to 10, copying the email, pasting it in here and sending the email. And just it's just copy and paste, that's all we're doing. It's a very simple beginner friendly kind of system here that we're doing and it takes a uh, five to ten minutes a day which is insane and thus far i broke even day 50 i got into profit day 60 and as long as things continue as as they are i'm in profit by about 500 dollars a month uh each six, each month it's looking like i'm making 500 dollars a month now in profit but uh, I'll go over more of that later on. And uh, so thus far, this is a good system. It's been working out well for me. And I wanna mention one other thing, and that is that if you refer someone underneath your main account using a, a referral link over here, that will give your main account 100 bonus leads. So instead of 100 leads a day, you will get 200 leads a day, which means 6,000 leads at the end of the month. Now, obviously that's gonna make things better. You're gonna make more money, but there's another level to that, and that is if you refer yourself, if you own both of these accounts, you have 200 here, 100 here, that's 300 a day, that's 9,000 at the end of the month. So we went from 3,000 to 6,000 to 9,000, and it doesn't stop there because you can chain multiple accounts, one under the other. You own all of them, right? And if you do that, you'll get 200, 200, 200, and then the bottom one's gonna have 100, and that's what I did. I have seven accounts, and that's, you know, 1,300 leads, but I got some bonus referrals on my last account so that I now have 1,400 leads across all my seven accounts. And that is what is allowing me to see these crazy results that I got all these accounts. Now, you don't have to get this many accounts. Uh, if you get fewer accounts, you're just gonna have to be more patient while the leads build up because this is just a numbers game. I would recommend five accounts. If you wanna see decent results, that's what I would go with. I started off with five accounts and day six or so, I got account six and then day seven or something like that, I got account seven. And then I started to see sales popping off at day 17 onwards. But uh, you don't have to get that many accounts. Minimum I'd say is two accounts. And if you do get a minimum of two accounts, you know, month two, month three, when you're broken even and you're in profit, you can start getting multiple, account, more accounts than that. But uh, if your patience is something that's gonna be tested, like it's, it's gonna be tested. I mean, if you're the type of person that wants to see results sooner rather than later, which is everyone, I see this constantly, uh, you're gonna to wanna to have more accounts than fewer accounts, if you can afford it. But uh, that's the thing with this. You have to take calculated risks in this online game. And I took a calculated risk when, when I came on board and I took those five accounts and I was paid off for that. I was pleasantly rewarded for doing that. So you've got to research this to the point where you're comfortable with doing this and moving. F oh, I better put this phone away. It might start thinking I'm talking to it again. Um, 
Okay, so you've got to take that calculated risk. Learn enough about the system. I've got so many videos here for you to go over. Once you get enough confidence, you know, get in, get on board with however many you can afford. But keep in mind that you have to give this a fair shake of three months. Give this three months to play out, to build up the leads. Because some people get their first sale in three to four weeks. That's usually what I see. And other people have to wait 45 days, 55 days before they get their first sale. And typically those are people with fewer accounts or they're doing something wrong with their marketing. But there are so many people posting in the comments uh, you know, that they're not seeing any sales and then a couple days later, they got their first sale. If you go through all the comments, you'll see that this has happened multiple times. So it is a matter of patience. Do the right things long enough and the sales start coming. And when they do start coming, a new paradigm is formed where you, everything that happened in the past is no longer relevant. You see a new pattern forming where you start getting consistent sales because the leads have reached that critical mass point. So keep that all in mind, but I don't want to rant on too long. Let's go into the results. And I did not get a sale. Unfortunately, I was looking to hit $650 for the month, right? But we still have one day to get this up to 150 or more uh, for the week. We do have that, but for the month of February, we did not get an extra sale. I was looking for seeing if we can get a back-to-back -back sale here. Like if we got a $50 sale here and another $50 sale here, we'd be at 650. But instead, uh, hold on a second. I don't have up my spreadsheet, do I? Uh, give me one second, let me pause the video. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you. So I was hoping that I'd get another $50 sale, bring this up to 650. There are fewer days in the month of February, 28 versus 31 in the prior month. So that accounts for the discrepancy here. And uh, I was hoping that uh, I could get that other sale, but I didn't. So we're at 615 uh, for the month of February and uh, net total profit overall since I started is $728. And this is the gross amount of money that I made so far. Now the next month, there is gonna be another fee taken out. So this is gonna drop by $210. And then again, it's gonna start climbing as the month goes on as they make more sales. So we'll see what happens over time. Um, but let's look at the hops now. Let's look at the hops. So we made 1,462 hops. We still are having stragglers on social paid. And we're on day number six, email number six for write-up reviews. This is quite a while of get, getting these stragglers. Uh, so we got a whole number, huge number of hops. And the reason why I believe is because of this email, 25 to $35 an hour after clicking one button and put in their uh, name after that. So this email always performs very well for me. So I believe it's because of this and maybe on their end, the vendor's end, they're following up with the, the leads on my behalf as well. And that's also boosting the numbers even further because um, the leads, the vendor does follow up with your leads as well. So the hops that you're getting are not only from your efforts, but it's also from the vendor sending emails, uh, promoting your link to the leads that have opted in. Because when they go to the sales page, when they go to the, the when they click on your link, they go through a quiz, then at the end of the quiz, they have to enter in their name and email. And once they do that, uh, the vendor follows up as well to help you out as well to get the sale. So anyways, that's that. And let's look over here at the sales over time. So typically when you start off with your new account, you're not gonna get sales for a while. And over here, I got my first sale day 17. And th since then, things have been consistent. And we talked about the other day how it seems like now there are fewer gaps in the month of February. Like in the month of January, I saw a lot of two day gaps in sales, three day gaps in sales. And then in the month of February, we had just sales every other day, except for this one stretch of three day, uh, three day gap. So we're going to see if things progress more towards uh, less gaps and more sales. But let me just show you some metrics over here that I, uh, I uh, was looking at. Let me just bring this up here. So in the month of, in the month of uh, uh, February, we have three fewer days. Okay. We have three fewer days and let me just bring up the results over here. Month of February. Where is it? Is this it last month? Yeah. So month of February, we had 29,700 hops 
And in the month of January, the month before that, we had 32,600 hops. So if considering that I get an average of 1,000 hops a day, if we add 3,000 more hops to this, that's going to equal, what, 32,700. So we are pretty much on par with the prior month in terms of hops. So we're on par with hops. However, in, in January, we had three more initial sales and one more upsell. Now, considering that the, there were three more days, like the 29th, 30th, and 31st, I would have I would have got like one or two more sales here, right? Uh, if if there were 31 days as well, so that would account for like maybe two of these sales. So things are pretty much on par so far, uh, considering that. Yeah, I, I covered this 3k more hops. Let's see over here, $90 more. So uh, in the prior month, I had made $90 more. Okay, so let's see over here. Yeah, 615 versus 706. This is what we're looking at. We had 114 more order form impressions in January than we did in February. Now, I broke this down even further. We had 311. Let me just make this a bit bigger. We had 311 order form impressions in January, and that comes out to an average of 10 a day. And we had 197 in February, which comes out to an average of seven order form impressions per day. So this is one difference that I have noticed, and that is that we have more order forms happening in January versus February. That's the only difference that I'm noticing here, uh, taking into account that January has more days. Like this, this is one difference here. And let's see what else I've got here. Show leads across my accounts. Okay, so I'll do that. Let's see over here. So here are my leads across all my accounts. 18,300 across account one. Let me go back a bit. Across, across account one, two, and three. Account four, 18,200, then 17,800, 17,400, and 16,000 on my account number seven. And that comes to a grand total of 124,300 leads across all accounts. So that's where we're at. So hope that this was interesting. I think I've covered all the statistics I wanted to cover, com com comparing and contrasting February to January. So it seems like uh, even though this was less than the prior month, it's pretty much on par. Like if, if this had 31 days, this might have gone up to like, uh, you know, close to around 700. So it, it's pretty much on par, a little bit less, but pretty much on par. I want to see the following month things go up higher than 700. That's what I can, I can tell you. I want to see things start progressing. I mean, even if things stay the same, that's still good. I'm still making like 400 to $500 profit a month. But from what I've seen from other people who have more leads, eventually they start making more uh, money from each of their accounts. So I should start seeing that happening. But as far as when, I don't know. So that covers that. So now let's go into, if you want to come on board with this, what you have to do. Basically, you come over here to the description, you click on this link over here in the description, the first link. This is gonna lead over here where you can see a description of My Legion Secret, a little video. And you wanna click on this button over here, the first red button. Once you do that, you enter in your email, click get started. This will lead you over to the sales page, which looks like this. So once you decide to come on board, you're gonna click this button. You're gonna go over and sign up with your first My Legion Secret account. And once you do that, and you're ready to log in, this is where you're gonna to have to pay close attention. Okay, the first account doesn't matter, but the second account, if you wanna create multiple accounts, this is where you have to pay attention. Because for the second account, you wanna grab this link, copy it, paste it in the browser, and then sign up for your second account so that it's made underneath your first account, giving your first account 100 bonus leads. So when you do that properly, you'll see over here 200 leads will appear in this much time. It'll take about 24 hours for those leads to appear. So uh, you wanna use a separate email for every account that you create. And if you wanna be doubly sure you're doing this right, use a different browser, copy and paste this link into a different browser or clear your cookies. But uh, once you set up your second account, if you wanna create your third account, make your third account underneath your second account's referral link and make your fourth account underneath your third account's referral link. You're chaining them, right? Use, uh, you can use the same credit card for all these accounts and when you create your 
multiple accounts in the same day, make sure you put a two at the end of your first and last name, like Mike two, Iser two, Mike three, Iser three. That avoids any issues with the system rejecting uh, the accounts because it has the same first and last name over and over again. And you can always come to the account profile and delete those numbers later on. But that covers all of that. And if you have any problems, support knows that people want to create multiple accounts and they will sort you out. But once you've done that, you're going to come over to ClickBank and you're going to sign up here. It's for free to sign up with ClickBank. And you're going to open up this menu and go to accounts. Once you've got your account, create an account and create an affiliate account. Type in a nickname here and follow these instructions. Click sign up. Once you do that, this will pop up, pop up over here. You click it. And this will bring you to the overview page where you see all your results. Here you're going to click on marketplace and on the marketplace, you're going to see all the product categories that you can promote. And we want to go with e-business and e-marketing because that's what's going to convert the best for these leads. So from here, we're going to sort this by gravity to bring the products to the top of the list, which are generating the most sales for the most affiliates. And we're going to promote uh, right app reviews right now, which is right over here. So we go to open this affiliate page to find the affiliate resources for that product. And we have free email swipes provided to us by this vendor. So we open that up. We're on email six now. And it's just a matter of copying and pasting the subject and the body over into my Legion secret like I was talking to you about. But what I typically like doing is putting the emails in text files so it's easier for me to do. And I also have different uh, variations of the subject lines because these subject lines are not always going to convert very well. Like this, hey, what's app? That's like that's just invoking curiosity. Like, what is this about? But it's not very descriptive. It's not telling you that you're going to make any money. It's not uh, including that person's actual name to draw attention to it. It's not invoking uh, urgency. So there are better ways of constructing these emails. And this is, uh, I believe, oops, what happened here? Uh, this is the email that I sent out today, this title over here. And then this is the body of the email that I sent. So um, what I typically do is I copy and paste out of these because the other thing is, is this name in brackets over here. That's referring to a short code. What you're going to do is use this, this short code here, first name fix. This is going to replace this person's, uh, this is going to put in that person's actual first name in that spot. Okay. so. My Legion secret, instead of using brackets name, you need to use this for my Legion secret to recognize it. And the, the way I know that is if you go over here to my Legion secret and go to mailing system, it tells you over here the short codes for all the things over here, like first name, it's first name fix. So if I want to have that uh, person's actual name in there, I need to use first name fix. So I've already got this first name fix put in into the email here, so I don't have to worry about it. And uh, sometimes there's country in here, like uh, over here, and we don't have a short code for country. So I just delete that and put in like people from your area instead. I just type that in, like uh, because there's, there's no country that can be placed in here. So anyways, that's why I like to put all the information in the emails. It makes it easier, so I don't have to keep on changing that every time. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste all the information over. And let's just do this from my email this time around. So all I'm going to do is copy this, paste it in there, go back over here, copy this. And actually, you know what? If I have to copy from this email, I'm going to have to bold everything over again. So let me just do, do it this way. Let me copy all of this. Copy all of this. Control, I'm highlighting it all, pressing Control C to copy. Then I'm going to click in this box, press Control A to highlight all the text, Control V to paste over top of it. So you see here it copied all the formatting, all the bolding and all this. Uh, the only thing though is I have to change this. So from your area and over here, change the name, put this uh, first name fix in here. Oops, let me go back up here, paste this in over here. There we go. I just thought that that would be less work. So uh, then we just have to put in our affiliate link over here. Okay, let me just fix the spelling. I'll leave that. Um, so I have to highlight this, go back over here. Uh, where is it? Over here. Hit promote. And then I'm going to put in a tracking ID, war for write-up reviews, the product we're promoting. 
an MLGS1 for our first MLGS account. We hit generate hop links. We click this button to copy it. Come back over to here. Click this link icon and control V, paste that in there. Okay. So now we got our link in there. Uh, double check everything here. Looks, every, see, we forgot to select our leads. That's why I always double check. So then we hit perfect timing. This is going to make sure we send it out at the time when the leads are most likely to see it and open the emails. So that'll increase your open rate. And um, then we, we just hit send email. And then we'll see this pop up saying that we have to wait 23 hours before we can send our next next mailing. And once we do this, we have to just duplicate this tab. So we come up here, right click, duplicate the tab, and then sign out of this duplicated tab and sign back in with our second account. So we can do the same process over again. All we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste the information over from our first account to the second account. So we come back here, we copy the subject, come to the second account, go to the mailing system, select the leads, paste, control V over in here, and copy this and come over here, click inside this box, control A, control V. And there we go. We hit perfect timing. We change the link over here, click on this link anywhere and hit this button, change the one to a two to track for our second account. And that's all there is to it. We just hit send email and you do the same process for each one of your accounts. It'll take you under 10 minutes, under five minutes, to be honest with you, if you do this long enough. And uh, yeah, so if you do want to come on board with this system, do let me know in the YouTube comments below. You can also send me an email at Mike Iser, uh, wait, what is it? Mike Iser Consulting at gmail.com. Let me know. And I will send you some bonus email swipe files. And uh, these swipe files you can use to promote the My Legion Secret system to the My Legion Secret leads themselves. And the reason why you'd want to do that is so that you can get the bonus leads on your last account. So instead of getting 900 leads with five accounts, you'll get a thousand leads with five accounts. You'll get an extra uh, 100 leads each day, which is an extra 3000 leads a month. Also, I'll provide you with some email support so that if you run into any issues, I can help you out through email. So do let me know in the comments if you've made a purchase, okay? And I'll get that information over to you. But other than that, that's gonna wrap up this video. So hope you found it informative and enjoyed it. If you did, do hit, give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.